What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links episode. Today we're going to be going through the PvP arena and getting to as high of a rank as we possibly can with the sort of mediocre deck setups that we have so far. We're also going to be opening up a couple packs, hopefully building up our collection just a little bit more, making it so I can actually use Mako as a character. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to play as, so let's get right into it. All right, so we are going to be opening up 20 packs of Age of Discovery. Hopefully, we'll end up getting Daedalus in here. And maybe a Mitch's Earth. I, I, I really would like that. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to end up getting one or not. But you know what? Well, uh, oh, what do we got here? Okay, we have the thing in the background. We have the blue. We've got the eyes. No Bam. No Bam. But that might be a Mitch's Earth. Oh my god, hello there. Whoa. Activate only when a monster is sent from the field to the graveyard. Select and destroy one monster on the field. Wow, that thing is powerful. I love it. Fantastic stuff. Fantastic stuff. Amazing card. Really, really, really glad we picked that up. So right away, we're doing really great. I really do want to pick up a few. Oh, we got Suijin. Okay. Very, very, very solid card. Really happy to get that. There are a few really interesting decks that do use it. So we may end up using it in a deck in the future. Um, Let's go ahead and Numinous Healer. Okay. Nothing there. Bubonic Vermin, we do want that. Gyaku Gyre Panda, that's nothing really. Okay, Reliable Guardian again. We got the Blue Light, Gora Turtle of Illusion, Sea Lord's Amulet. Guardian of, Throne Room, pleh, Guardian of the Throne Room. Very happy to get that card. 650 attack, pretty powerful for a 4 drop, so, or a 4 star drop, so it's a normal card that you can just summon whenever. Also, it's a machine type, which means that we should have just unlocked Keith, so I'm pretty happy about that as well. Deep Sea... Bubonic Vermin. Another Guardian of the Throne Room. Fantastic. Okay, let's go ahead and just get the third one right now. Please. Let's go ahead and do that. Rana Army, Sealer's Amulet. Big Wave, Small Wave. That seems like a neat control card for waters... Or, or water monsters, rather. Um, but wow, I can't believe... I cannot believe we pulled a Mitch's Ur. That is so cool. So very happy about that. Um, but you know what? Let's actually go back over to Ultimate Rising because I've just got a feeling that we're going to pick up another Ultra Rare right now. I've got I've got a feeling. I've got a good feeling about this one. I think we. I think this might be the Sphere Karibo time. I think this might be it, guys. I think we might be able to do it right now. Right here, right now. That's not it. Mm, that's Cat's Ear Tribe. That builds out the three that we needed, so that's pretty nice to see. But uh, that's not what we want. Um, that's not what we want. Come on, give me something, give me something good. Come on, give me something good. Give me, give me, oh. We're not getting it, guys. We're not getting it. It's not good. Crash Clown, that's not what we want. We got the gold. We got the things in the background. It's moving this time. I don't know what that means. We got the eyes. No bam. No bam, but we got the eyes. It's a trap card, so immediately. Okay, oh, we got Magical Arm Shield. Okay, oh, an ultra rare. Very, very nice to see. Uh, when your opponent clears an attack while you control a monster, target one face up monster your opponent controls except the attacking monster. Take control of that target until end of the battle phase. And if you do, it is attacked instead and you proceed to damage calculation. Wow. That's a pretty nice card. I do like that. Um, very, very cool. That is that is really nice to see. Okay, we will definitely use that in the future. That is that is a solid card. And ultra rare. Pretty happy about that as well. Judgment of Anubis, I think... I think that's going to be a card we use in the future. Not positive. Don't hold me to it, but I think. Um, and one more. Oh, blue. Come on, blue and the eyes. Please, please, please. Oh, please, please, please. Be Sphere Kribo. Okay, four star Ladybug of Doom. I can't, I can't complain about that at all. That is fantastic. So that is really, really solid to see right there. We definitely got some good cards from that opening. Nothing that's going to make it so Mako is more useful to us, however. Um, oh, also, as you guys can see, I'm actually on stage 30 now, so that's pretty cool. We just completed all character missions for Keith, so we're going to unlock Keith right now. Very, very happy about that. He's going to be fun to play as a ritual character, so pretty nice to see. I've unlocked quite a few characters in the past day, so that is really nice. Barrel Dragon. We got Barrel Dragon. Fantastic. Okay. So, where are we at now? Oh, we got more missions we completed. Even better. Unlock Keith and a bunch of trap cards. Okay, well, that's that's whatever. It's not really a big deal. 
All right, so I think now is the part of the video where we're gonna go and just try to run through a whole bunch of PvP battles. I do need to go back and choose Mai as our character, though, because we have quite a few things that we can do to set up Mai is just crazy powerful. Actually, you know what? Never mind. We're actually gonna use Kaiba. On second thought, we're gonna use Kaiba, because watch, I'm gonna go create auto deck here, and this is gonna be a very powerful deck, because we've got the blue eyes right here, and we can feed our Kaiser, Kaiser Seahorse kaiser seahorse into blue eyes white dragon we also now have the upgrades which is guardian of the throne room which is really really nice to see we've got some some answers we've got some answers here for stronger monsters and uh we've also got machine king the best tribute card that we could possibly be using right now so overall i think that we've got a decent deck that we can use and using peak performance we're going to be able to take full advantage of kaiba's skill so Let's go ahead and try it out. Obviously, it's not going to carry us to King of Games, but it might carry us through gold, so we'll see. So let's run over there, and we'll do some PvP arena battles. And we might also do a few Yugi matches. I'm not sure. We'll see. But yeah, I'm not sure how uh, how this is going to go. Honestly, I've only done a few of them. I haven't lost a match yet, and I haven't done any more matches since my first five so uh we'll see how it goes i'm not gonna hold my breath but i definitely want to take advantage of the free gems that we can get from getting to gold i believe so we got ryoku wait whoa oh i chose the wrong deck oh no oh no oh that's bad okay well um we might be able to make this work this deck is just thrown together, so pure card quality is going to be the only thing that carries us through here, if anything does at all. That said, our opponent's taking an awfully long time here. Uh, we've got... <laughs> okay, 800 damage there, that must have been worth it, right? Must have been worth just getting rid of that slot right there. Good stuff, okay. Best, best choice they could have made right there, best choice. Okay, summon a monster attack position, so what are we dealing with here? Uh, we're dealing with a decent deck, so... Uh-oh. Uh, we can, we can win it out. We can win it out. I can Ryoku right here, and that's gonna be totally fine. That said... Uh, maybe... Yeah, Skull Red Bird's our best choice here, I think. At least, uh, that's, that's what I think, right? Um, uh, we are definitely gonna use Ryoku right now, though. Absolutely need to go and take down that 1650 throne machine thing there. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We'll half a Guardian of the Throne Room and add it straight behind Skull Red Bird. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we'll do this. We'll take him down. And if we don't take any more damage by next turn, we can actually KO him because I'm going to go ahead and use Autonomous Action Unit and just take back Guardian of the Throne Room and it's going to be enough to kill him. So that would be actually hilarious. We also have Twister to deal with anything that he might throw down as far as traps or spells that are continuous. So, we, we might be able to make this work, guys. We might be able to win this. And then we will definitely be switching over to Kaiba. Because I really, really want to be able to play Kaiba with the advantage that we've got here. Um, oddly enough, Skull Red Bird... Or Grey Wing. No, Grey Wing coming out here. Uh, ooh. This card? Oh, you have, you have a buff. He has a buff. Uh-oh. Is that... Wait. Um, it's an equip card. So, I can, I can respond to it, can I? I can respond to it. Oh, beautiful. We are going to Twister that thing away. He's going to discard a card here. And then... <laughs> oh, beautiful. Please. 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 let. Wait, it's going to let me do that, right? I'm going to be able to respond with Twister, right? Right? You're going to let me respond with Twister, right? Why didn't I get a respond? What? It's a, it's a split second, or uh, an instant, or whatever you call it. Why did it not let me respond? What's up with that? Okay, whatever. That's, uh... I must be missing something here. It's let me do that before, I think, so I'm not sure what's going on. But I guess we'll go ahead and we'll just draw our card here. Machine King, fine. Oh, boy. Okay, so I guess we can go, we can go down to 50. We can go down to 50, and then we don't win this turn. So if he has any, if he draws direct damage, then we win. Yeah, screw it. We're, we're going to do it, guys. We got this. We got this in the bag. Let's do it. We're going to go ahead and grab that Guardian of the Throne Room here. Um, 
Okay, so we got that. Do we have Machine King? Machine King does not give us enough here. So we are going to go ahead and just summon as Amazon as Chain Master here in defense position. Just have something else on the field here that we can sacrifice next turn if need be. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to take down Grey Wing. He's got nothing in hand, which means that if he, gr if he draws into the win, then it'll be luck on his part and bad luck on my part. But if he doesn't, then we just straight up win next turn. So... Ooh, I, I I probably didn't have to risk it like I did. I probably could have just played the Amazonist card and then used Twister and then not use the 1500 life points. But he played it face down, which makes me think that he doesn't have enough here. Okay, we we got this. We got this, guys. We're good. Um, Yeah, because we can just use one of these here. I'll put the Amazonist in attack position here. And... <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that, guys. Um, Pokemon dead guy, I, I probably will have got back to you by now. But, you know, um, thanks for the support as usual. But yeah, <laughs> Thank so, sorry about that, guys. I don't know how you actually turn off push notifications, like, immediately for all apps. And I have a lot of apps right now, so it's a little annoying to turn them off. That said, we are going to go ahead and take the win right now. But yeah, apologies for that little interruption, guys. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and take our win here with... Under leveled, under prepared, not good Mako deck. And that's gonna be that. So very, very nice to see. Very, very nice to see. Also, guys, just so you know, the face cam right now, I know it's not ideally positioned, but I would like it to be very differently positioned, and it will be in the future. Just right now. I'm I'm I've got a lot on my mind. I'm I'm, I'm working on a lot of things, and uh in the future it'll be better, I promise. But right now I'm just I wanted to make videos for this, and this was the way that I could do it right now. So, let's go ahead. Oh, we'll take we'll take whatever free stuff this is. Free 15 gems. Not bad. And we've got some new missions completed there. Not bad as well. Plenty of stuff. Okay. Yeah, definitely want to go ahead and build out. Oh my god, what is with this connection? Th there have been a lot of connection issues. Let me know if you guys have been experiencing them in the comment section below. Very curious. I, I don't think it's me. I've heard a lot of people have issues with it, but I'm not sure right now if that's it or not. But yeah, let's go ahead and switch over. Actually, I don't need to go back there. What am I talking about? Go and switch over to Kaiba for right now. So yeah, pretty happy about that deck. We are going to be using Rex in the future. I am going to be doing a video later this week, I think, where I'm going to be actually farming to get all the, the um, dinos to make Rex's deck like really, really powerful because I have a lot of the utility stuff right now that he needs. I don't have the Thunder Dragons that I need. I don't have the... Oh, whatever the, the Fusion Thunder Dragon is. I don't have that either. But I can farm for them with a few of the decks that I have right now. I also need a Cerebus or Cerberus to uh, continue farming, like Yugi, for example. But yeah, it should go well, guys. Okay, bam! Power of Dark and... Okay, so you got Yami going on here and I got Mountain going on here. So this is going to be an interesting match. Uh, we'll drop Kazer Seahorse and just attack position. Hopefully that goes over well. I don't think they'll answer that immediately. They might because this definitely could be a really, really solid player here with a really solid uh, amount of answers for everything. But seeing as they are using the first skill that Yugi gets, I'm going to assume they probably aren't. Well, I mean, I guess I'm using the first skill as well. So there, there really isn't any rule here. Um... Okay, so we'll, we'll know immediately after the first card is dropped whether or not we're facing a serious deck right now. Because right now we're in bronze still, so we can sort of expect a lot of the decks we're facing to be sort of underwhelming, underbuilt, not very good in general. But yeah, this is, uh, is going to be interesting. So, Horn Imp. So I think we're actually going to end up doing well, guys, because 1300 just oof. I don't know if that's going to be good enough, my friend. I don't know. We're going to be dropping that blue eyes next turn, and that is not going to be fun for you. So, hoping that we, we have we have our fingers crossed here that we draw into a decent spell card that I can use to protect blue eyes with. Preferably like a twister or something like that. We do have Jerry Beans, man, so if anything, um, we'll be able to defend against a, um, what is it called? A summoner, I believe, is the stealing card. The one that sometimes gets placed. We got a Twister. Fantastic. 
just was talking about it, and uh, all of a sudden, it's right there. We're gonna go ahead and drop that blue eyes right now, and it is just gonna decimate this horned imp. Oh my goodness. Not a single card can stand up to this. And we're gonna get that nice cutscene right now. Fantastic stuff. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is hype. Okay. Blue eyes, white dragon. Fantastic. And... 3,200 attack. Just an absolute powerhouse. Do you have anything to answer that? Are you going to answer it? Please don't kill it, man. Please. I'm begging you, man. Just don't take out the blue eyes. That's all. That is it. Not getting any answer. No, he's activating. This card, one card, what does that mean? You see attack and defensive all? Okay. Yeah. That's not going to do anything, friend. That's, 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 that's nothing. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's actually nothing. Uh, we'll just go ahead and straight on attack, 1,200 damage, and you're not going to be living through this one, buddy. Okay, so end turn, 3,200 attack, absolute powerhouse going down right now, and there's just nothing our friend Yami Yugi can do. Unless, I guess, they just defend against it for a few turns and then combo off or something like that but i don't think that's going to happen i think this is probably one of those decks that people just kind of threw together to try at the start of the game to climb up a few ranks and get some gems see i decided that i would reserve all of my climbing on the ladder for when i actually got somewhat of a coherent deck together and this still isn't good it's it's sort of passable it sort of works out so that's the reason why I'm playing this right now, is because it kind of sort of works. We've got some answers for stuff. We got some powerful threats. We're, we're in a good place for it. And I think that this might be... We might do three today. I think we'll do three duels today. How about that? So we're going to go ahead and battle. We're going to send Jerry. We're going to send Jerry, our friend Jerry. We're going to send him out. And hopefully... Yeah, we're good. So that's 3,200 damage straight to the face. And that is going to be that, guys. That is going to be all. Yami Yugi goes down, and we take our second win of the day. Fantastic stuff. Now you'll call me the king of games. Okay. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves, Kaiba. We're, we're still in bronze. All right. Come on. Uh, we are getting some decent stuff from PvP. Not bad. We are up to rank number four. Bronze four. Not bad. Not bad at all. We're going to go ahead and do one more duel, guys. Hopefully it doesn't take two ridiculously long but yeah this has been fun so far i have to say i really like battling against other people with the ai you can generally tell where they're going with certain strategies and everything but humans are prone to human mistakes so it's definitely a little bit different there are some strategies that an ai never pulls off that a human will and vice versa so yeah good stuff we've got a decent setup right now we got jerry and we got our banner right there so not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Now, we're going to have to see how he starts out, because he has his turn first. We rolled second. So, I guess we're, again, going to see right off the bat whether or not we have a serious opponent right now. Summon a monster in attack position. It is going to be... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That is the wrong answer. So this card face down. He could still run away with the game. I'm not going to get cocky here. But really though, like Baby Dragon, I don't know about that. That probably isn't going to go over well for you, pal. We're going to summon Kazer Seahorse here. And I have a reason for that. Because if that, ha if, uh, uh, if that happens to actually be a card that will put Jerry into defense position, then we're just going to lose him. We're going to lose the tempo and that wouldn't be good. But if it's a card that puts him into defense position and we we uh, drop Kazer, Kaiser. We drop our seahorsey here, and then he goes into defense position. He's still going to be able to defend against our baby dragon friend. So, fingers crossed we just go and beat his beat his little face up right there. Just beat him right up. Yeah, that's going to be that. 500 damage, and we're going to end our turn now. Not a bad way to start. Now, that said, it's a little bit of an odd thing to drop a Machine King on top of a Kaiser Seahorse because... It feels like you could just go one more turn and then draw into a um, a blue eyes and it would really really suck if then you had your machine king and Jerry out on the field and you had a blue eyes in hand but that said uh, oh he's going in attack position what's happening here uh oh uh oh you're getting buffed aren't you pal we're, we're gonna see a buff happen right now what are what no you're not going to attack like that. You're going to end your turn now. 
See, okay, I was gonna say, that didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. There's like, there's a buff going on there or something, because there's no way that they were gonna be going through with that. So we're gonna drop Jerry now, because we can afford to lose a little bit of tempo if that ends up happening, if he ends up going to defense position, but I don't think he will. I think we're gonna actually take him down and then do a nice... Oh, reinforcements is gonna go down here. So, attack is going to go up. We don't have a stop attack in hand, unfortunately, to be able to take advantage of it, really. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to leave our turn open. We're going to be able to sacrifice, or attribute, rather, Jerry next turn for Machine King. Unless we draw blue eyes, which would just be so, so, so beautiful. Oh, man. Okay. Attack position. High Tide Gojin. Okay, so that's actually a bit of a threat. Not a threat to either of the monsters that we have out on the field right now, but still a threat nonetheless. Actually, it's a little weird that Yugi isn't playing any actual, like, tributed threats, so... I'm, I'm, I'm a little cautious here, a little cautious. We'll see how this goes, but I'm gonna drop Machine King next turn, I think, either way. Now, if we could get this get this to, uh, to wrap up here, thank you very much. I really appreciate it, Yugi, my friend, for not wasting all my time. I really do appreciate it, so... We're gonna go ahead and drop Machine King on Jer- wait, will we? No, we're not. I'm- I'm a liar. We're gonna drop our Guardian of the Throne Room, and then we're gonna throw- we're gonna throw Jerry. We're gonna throw him. Throw him straight at Gojin. And then we're gonna throw- yeah, you get the idea. He's- he's not gonna go over too well this turn. This is not gonna be a good turn for him, you know? It's just not. So next turn, we've got three threats on board, like actual threats, actual serious damage going down here. And Machine King in the background, Mask of the Accursed, if we actually get that crazy, I guess, Time Wizard, I think that's the name of the card. Draw and uh, drop, and then our field gets wiped. We still have Mask of the Accursed to actually wrap it up over the next turn or two. So, uh, we got Crass Clown going out, that's, uh, that's not going to happen. So, that's going to be that, guys. We are actually going to go ahead and win this turn. So, let's go ahead and just change over to attack. And we'll just throw Kaiser and we'll throw Jerry. Jerry brings it home. And we're going to take our last win of the day. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get used to commentating this. I really have, like, a burn-in period. Like, where I have to get used to just talking about a game sort of quickly. And, um, like you guys know, if you guys watch any of my VGC coverage or any of my Twitch streams, I'm pretty decent at coverage when it comes to, like, live commentating really, really fast for video games in general. So, I think that I can do a lot better. I just need to get used to it, so please bear with me while I try to. But I do think that doing these PvP ranked duels overall is going to be a really fun staple for my Yu-Gi-Oh! content in the future anyways. Um... Along with other stuff, obviously, We've, we're, we're only in stage 30 out of 50, apparently, so I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of content in the future to do with different parts of the game, especially like unlocking stuff, farming stuff, all that sort of stuff, that, that, that good stuff, that good content, you know what I'm saying? So, um, oh, we're gonna go ahead and unlock the missions to unlock Ish, Ishizu, Ishizu, I think? Thinks her name, Ishizu, maybe? I don't know. Legendary Duelist Unlocked. Ishizu Ishtar, yep. So apparently she's got a decent card at level 25, at least I've been told. So this most unexpected, Kai, but why do I have a Millennium Necklace? Gave this to Yugi during Battle City. Can it be that the world was recreated my abilities that I had during Battle City? I wonder if this actually ties into the lore of the actual show or not. That might be kind of interesting, but I guess we'll see. So we got Ishizu, we can possibly unlock and definitely battle. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any ideas for Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links episodes that I could do in the future. I have a lot of ideas, obviously, and I'm going to be doing all those things. But if you guys have anything that you particularly would like to see, whether that be a guide, strategy, or just the type of concept that you think might be entertaining, please, please feel free to let me know. We might also be doing some sort of tournaments in the future. I think that'd be a lot of fun as well. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section below again. And I will see you guys in the next episode very, very shortly. Until then, peace.